Back now with a revealing interview with Linda Thompson. The former wife of Caitlyn Jenner has a new memoir, a little thing called Life. It details their marriage and the moment Linda realized their lives would change forever. ABC's Chris Connolly sat down with her and joins us now from L.A. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, George. And yes, following Caitlyn's emergence last year, Linda Thompson is now sharing her recollections of a challenging time three decades ago when she realized her husband's anguish was far greater than her own. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis Presley and Bruce Jenner have left the building. <laughs> ah, but she's here. Linda Thompson's vividly candid memoir, A Little Thing Called Life, chronicling with empathy and deep feeling her intimate times with Elvis Presley and the person we now know as Caitlyn Jenner. I think more than anything, it's been a relief for Caitlyn to be able to emerge as her true self. And for the rest of us, you know, we love her. But when I first met her, she was in a Bruce Jenner body. <laughs> he was just an incredible person, still is. I have since said to her, you know, you've got to give yourself credit. You kicked manhood's butt. Wed in 81. By 1985, they were raising sons Brandon and Brody here in Malibu. My happiness was complete until that day when Brody was 18 months old and Brandon was just about three and a half. And my remarkable husband came to me one day and said, I need to tell you something about myself. Linda feared it was an affair. It proved more consequential than that. He said, I identify as a woman. Those words, excuse me, what does that even mean you identify as a woman? He said, I am a woman. I would like to become female on the exterior because I've always been female on the inside. It was earth shattering, it was devastating. People can't understand, you must have had some kind of idea. No, nunca nada, never, nothing. <laughs> Linda says therapy sessions along with Jenner would bring her greater understanding. My deeper compassion went to Bruce. For her to have felt so trapped in the wrong body, I, it just, it broke my heart to think that he had struggled so long and so hard. I guess in some ways you met Caitlin on a trip to New York. Yes, I was trying to understand this thing called transgender and when Bruce said come to New York and be with your husband, husband was the word I was looking for. So I went to New York, knocked on the door, you know, fully anticipatory that we would have a lovely romantic weekend. In that 80s encounter, Linda was unprepared for who she says she saw. Caitlin. I just crumbled. I think I even fell down in the hall. I just went, oh, oh no, no, and I just started crying. And she said, I'm so sorry. I just thought it was very important that you see who I authentically am. And not until that moment, I guess, did it sink into my psyche that that truly was who Caitlin felt that she was. And I had to respect that and honor that and move on with my life. She'd grown up as a pageant standout in Memphis, where in 1972, she met Elvis at a movie theater. And you can't even remember the movie. No. W would you be able to if Elvis Presley were sitting next to you, macking on you? 24-7, <laughs> Linda was his lover, confidant, confessor, and caregiver for four and a half years. My son Brody, when he was old enough, you know, to fully grasp the impact of my having lived with Elvis Presley, he goes, Mom, you know, he's the original pimp daddy. Caitlyn Jenner's people told us she was unavailable for comment. Along with her account of that relationship, Linda's book is a real feast for Elvis fans, loaded with stories, an affectionate portrait of the king of rock and roll. George and yeah, Amy. What a combination, Elvis and Caitlyn, Chris. Very powerful life story, and she tells it with great compassion and feeling for the people who are in her life. Well, we can tell, and thanks for bringing it to us. Linda's book, A Little Thing Called Life, is available today. You can see more of Chris's interview on Thursday on Nightline.